Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today let's practice number of operations to make network connected. So we are given in computers and they are number from 0 to A minus 1 and they are connected by Ethernet cables connections. So we are given an initial computer network connections and then we can extract certain cables between two directly connected computers and place them between any pair of these connected computers and then make all them connected. It requires us to return the minimum number of times we have to do this operation in order to make all the computers connected. So if it is not possible, then we just return minus one. Okay, here is an example. So we see that um, there are four computers and then we can remove, for example, remove this one and then put this cable to connect node one and node three. And then we will have a totally connected network. So now let's look at a more complicated problem here. So in this example, we have five computers or five nodes and it is obviously that the four nodes connected to each other and there are two nodes to form a subgroup so so we if we want to make these two subgroups connect to each other then we can like remove this cable and then uh, connect these um, nodes one and node three and then we will have a totally connected diagram again if we can like to first identify how many subgroups there are and then if we want to for example connect three subgroups then we, we will have to at least to do two operations that means uh, we will have a one cable put here and one cable put here and then we will have a totally connected diagram and then if we have four subgroups then the minimum number of operation we need to do is actually three right we can think of these questions like um we are given the connections and then if we can find out how many subgroups there are in the diagram in the graph and then we can just return the number of subgroups in minus one that is the number of operations we need to do and that is our answer there is a constraint for example if there are um, the red circle here means a, a, a distinct node um there are five nodes here and but we only have three cables in this way, we cannot remove this one and then put it here, right? Because if we put it here, we also have like two subgroups. Here's one and here is another subgroup and they will never connect each to each other. So it means that in order to connect nodes in the diagram, we need at least like, for example, for example, here are one, two, three, four, five, five nodes, and we at least have minimum number of cables that is one, two, three, four. So if the n is five, then we will need at least cables. We need five minus one, that is four, to connect them all together. Um, before we jump in into count how many subgroups there are in the in the diagram, first we have to check the number of cables are enough to make all the computers connected to each other. And then we will like to jump into count how many subgroups there are in the graph. If we can use diverse search, for example, to diverse search the node from node zero, and then to visit all the nodes connect to zero, like from zero we can know that it can connect to one connect to two connect to four besides the nodes we also have to keep a variable it's called uh, for example visited 
So it is also an array, and we initialize the elements in the array in um, make them all zero. Zero it means that for this zero it means that number zero isn't visited. If it is visited, then we will change the value of this from zero to one. Okay, now let's go from node zero. So besides the visited array, we also have to keep a variable that's called the number of subgroups. The node zero, then we know that we are going to iterate and then visit all the nodes in a subgroup. So the number of subgroups will in increase by one. From zero, we know that we can visit one. We make this zero to one, and then from one, we know oh we can visit two. So we also make it as a visited, and from two we can visit four. So we can also make this one visit, visited. So from four, we also like to visit his is all the neighbors of four, and then we maybe like to come back to zero. And then we are come back to zero, and then we check. Oh, it actually is is one. It's visited before, so we don't do. Um, so we stop here. We don't visit the zeros neighbors again and again. And then um, so we already finished the node one here. Then we move to check. Next element is node one, and node one, and we see that oh. It is actually visited, so we move to the second. The, the next element is not two, and we find that oh, it's also visited, so we move to not three. And from not three, we check oh, it is not visited before because it's zero. And so first, we move it from zero to one to indicate indicate that the node is being visited this time and then since we visit a whole new node it means that node number three belongs to another subgroup that we haven't visited before so we will like to increase the number of subgroups here by one so it becomes two two um from three we'll call the diverse search again and we found we visit the node five so we'll move the this one to one. So and then we move on. And for five, if we call the ever search again on the node five, you will go back to three. And three is visited, so we stop here. And then we move to our check our next element, this four here. And we found that oh this is visited, so we stop here, and then we check node five. And we found oh it is also visited, so we stop here. And then we check oh here are actually two num <coughs> two subgroups. So the number is two minus one. Do one operation to make these two subgroups connect together. The time complexity is that uh first we need to go through all the nodes here. So it is the number of the length of the nodes. And also in each node, we want to visit all its neighbor. And so how many neighbors it has? So it lies in the number of connections here. So it's also the length of connections. Uh, for the space complexity, first we all like to start a visited. We'll keep a visited array. So in the array, the size of the array is also the size of the nodes. And also for each node, because we have to code the data search on each node and its neighbor and also its neighbor. So um the recursion stack as a what we we'll like to come zoom the space complexity. So it's like the is also is like the the length of the connections. Basically, 
next question, we solve these questions um, as a data search solution. But um, definitely, we can also use the union find to solve this problem. By union find, we, we also can count how many subgroups there are in the diagram. Okay, now let's move to coding part. Hi, now let's move to coding part. So the first thing we need to do is check if there are enough number of cables that can make all the computers connected to each other. So, so the number of cables is the number of connections. So if the number of the connections is smaller than um, the number of computers minus one, then we can just return minus one. And if it is not, then first we have to create a neighbors list. In each element in the list is a set. It means that, for example, for node computer zero, it has like if there if the set has one, two, three, it means that computer one and two and three all connected to directly directly connect to computer zero. So for I in range in have a connections for C in connections. Then we want to make the neighbors set. Okay. Okay. So here the connection actually we have two so a pair of computers in one connections in one connection so for neighbors a then we want to add b to its neighbor and also we want to add um a to b's neighbor uh, keep a visited array it means if this node or computer is visited before or not. And initially we set the value to zero. And then we want to have a diver search function. And the, the parameter here is the node. The, and so first I want to check if we already visited this node before if it is already visited then um return zero and if it is not visited it means uh, first we uh, mark it as visited So we mark it as one. And then for all of his all of the neighbor of node n, we want to visit all of his neighbor. So his neighbor is stored in neighbors array. So we want also call the search on all of his neighbor. And we also want to, in the end, want to return one. It means that uh, the number of subgroups should increase by one. And we iterate. Uh, so now let's call the diverse search function. So we want to iterate each node or each computer it iteratively. I shouldn't use n actually for okay for node in range n on the code 
Uh, and I also have to actually have a, a number of subgroups. Initially, we set it to zero, and then the diverse search. So we want to increase the number of circles every time we call the diverse search. And if there is a new subgroup, then we will increase the number of subgroups. Then we'll return subgroups. Okay, let's run. 